Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, so on the Ethereum chart, we've seen some nice upside overnight. Um, Ethereum started quite nicely into the day and the situation is still largely unchanged. However, Ethereum tries to push higher and this is what's desperately needed because as I explained yesterday, we can still go by our primary scenario in that we see a fifth wave of wave one. Um, that is still the expectation because it would just produce the most ideal structure in a five wave move to the upside. Yeah, um, That is the primary scenario as long as 1818 18 holds a higher high to around $2,000 approximately is expected. Now, of course, as you know, Ethereum came down quite deep, reacted basically perfectly to the 50% retracement and is trying to push higher. However, it hasn't made a higher high yet. So I cannot confirm at any stage here, well, at this stage, I can't confirm that um, it has bottomed in wave four, but there is a potential and it desperately needs to push higher because if it doesn't, then we're going to morph into the alternative structure. Now, it wouldn't be a disaster. It would just not be preferred because um, it would shed some doubt on this overall assumption that a larger wave two finished on the 15th of June, because if we go with the alternative, yes, it would be bullish as well. It would assume that the wave one finished here on Friday. We're coming down in a wave two, but then I don't have a very clear five wave move to the upside. It leaves the door open to a much lower um, or stronger decline. If this year was indeed just a B wave top with a C wave to the downside, and we have to reset this wave two, which at the moment supposedly finished on the 15th of June just resets it a bit lower, okay? But yeah, for now, I go with what we've got, the primary scenario, but um, Ethereum is just at a key pivot point, the key decision point, and I will show you why. So, I explained to you yesterday that obviously this low needs to hold. If it doesn't, then yeah, we're going into the, let's say the alternative count. Um, again, wouldn't be a disaster, would also be bullish, but short term bearish, because it would go a little lower. Um, in this particular scenario, it's possible to count a one-two setup, a small one-two setup of, yes, uh, of the Wednesday lows. Yeah, wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside, and maybe now here a third wave in the making. Um, but in this third wave, it needs to, it desperately needs to break above that wave four high at 1913. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it reacted so far to our trend lines here a few times. So I showed you yesterday these two trend lines. I mean, the white one has been on the chart for a while. The yellow one is one that I thought it will react to, which it's doing, but it's trying to. And if it pushes here above this trend line, I think there's a really good chance to first get to the wave four high at 1913, then next resistance around 1930, and then 1960, which is more resistance structurally. Not that important though. Maybe I'll take that off. It's just a swing high. Don't wanna have too many levels on the chart. Very important one will be around $2,000, which is also where I see approximately the end of the wave four, uh, five at the moment. Um, if it extends much higher, then I have to assume we're already in some kind of a third wave or so, um, which is always possible, right? But it would just not be the ideal structure. I'm not primarily looking for that, but it's of course possible that it extends much higher if we really are in a larger third wave. But yeah, this is still the, the view nothing changed really. Um, I'm observing with interest if Ethereum can finally push higher. Bitcoin, of course, leading. You know that Bitcoin is leading at the moment. Um, it's much stronger. And because Bitcoin is sort of leading the way at the moment, Ethereum is likely to follow if Bitcoin can break above its resistance as well. I talked about that in the Bitcoin video. Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.